a test which is not reliable, which is not having any reliability quotient, should not be used. It is unethical to use it. Similarly, a test which does not have validity should not be used. If you do that, then you are not, not a psychologist, you are not a professional psychologist. And a layman can use all these tests. They can say, uh, any organization can say, take down, download all the tests and then give to so many people and then give some kind. Yes, you can get a score, somewhere approximate score, but that is not the exact score that you will otherwise be getting in a professional testing. So, uh, the parents should be very cautious as to not to use any of these tests or take a psychologist, even if a psychologist say, I am going to give you the test. They should have the guts to ask the psychologist, is this test reliable? Is this test valid? What is the quotient like? As I said a few minutes ago, 0 0.60 and above. If it is, the parents can say, okay, we will go for this test. If it is point, um, uh, less than 0 0.50, we will not touch this. So, at least, you know, a layman should have some knowledge about the reliability and validity so that they are able to uh, understand and do not fall into the trap of what we call as so-called testing.